Hi, this is Valerie Getch from Valerie's Photo Channel. Before I get into the tutorial, I wanted to quickly tell you about my free Color Illustrated Guide to Digital Photography Basics. It will help you improve your digital photography skills and understand how to use your camera's manual settings. You can get it for free at my website, valeriegetch.com forward slash digital hyphen photography hyphen basics. Hi, I'm Valerie Getch. In my last tutorial, I gave you an overview of the Develop Module interface. Now I want to give you a brief tour of the Adjustment Panel so that you know what each tool does and how you can work with your images. Incidentally, since it's called the Develop Module, you may think you can only use it to process RAW files, but actually you can adjust TIFFs and JPEGs as well with some minor differences. Starting here in the upper right hand corner with the histogram, the histogram is a graph that shows the tonal range of your image. The blacks and the shadows are on the left and the highlights and whites are on the right and the midtones are in the middle. You can use the histogram as a guide to make tonal adjustments to your image and you can also make them directly by clicking on the histogram and dragging to the left or the right for example. Just below the histogram you'll see information, the EXIF data on your image, and below that you'll see information on smart previews. If you happen to have built one it would show here or you have the option to build one. And right below that you have a toolbar and starting from the left is the crop overlay tool for cropping and straightening. Next is the spot removal tool for cloning and healing the red eye correction tool, and the last three are selective adjustment tools. The first is the graduated filter, the radial filter, and finally my favorite, the adjustment brush, which has many applications. And I'll show you all of these tools in greater detail in future tutorials. So next down is the basics panel. And the basics panel is a bit of a misnomer. Some people call it the essentials panel because it has the main tools for adjusting your image's white balance, exposure, contrast, and other tonal elements, including highlights and shadows, black and white points, as well as tools for clarity, vibrance, and saturation. Here are a couple of tips for working in the basics panel as well as the other adjustment panels. To move the sliders, you would just slide left to right and if you want to adjust to a precise value, you can just click in the value itself and then type in directly. And you can also use your up and down arrow on your keyboard to make incremental adjustments, it's like so. And if you want to reset a, an adjustment, just click on the name. So for example, if I want to reset highlights, I would just double click on highlights and that resets it back to the default. And if you want to reset a whole group of um, adjustments, say I want to reset everything under tone, then I would simply double click on tone and that would reset everything back to the default values. Next down is the Tone Curve panel, and the Tone Curve, well some people don't use this and just use the basic panel sliders, the Tone Curve is actually quite useful for making subtle tweaks to your image and creating a nice S-curve. And I'll show you this more in detail in another tutorial. Next is the Color panel, the uh, Hue, Saturation, and Luminance, color and black and whites, and you would use this panel to make adjustments to individual colors in your image. So for example, on this image I could adjust the blues in the sky and the water to increase the saturation, like so. Next is split toning. Split toning can be used for coloring monochrome images for creating vintage or grunge looks to your photo. And next is the detail panel. And the detail panel is where you will find Lightroom sharpening tool, which is very powerful, and it's also where you would apply noise reduction. 
lens correction, this panel lets you correct chromatic aberration, which is that weird purple fringe you sometimes see, as well as lens vignetting, which are dark edges around the ear image that you sometimes get. The effects panel lets you apply a post crop vignette, which could be a dark halo using a slider to the left. Um, you can put a dark halo around your image to put the focus on the center, or you could also drag it to the right to give it a white halo. And there's also a tool for adding a realistic film grain effect to your black and white images. Last is the camera calibration panel. It makes adjustments to the default calibration settings for your camera. You can choose a camera profile, which is the color, contrast, and saturation, etc., settings based on your camera's make and model. And you can try out these um, from the drop down panel. You can try out these different profiles to see which one you like and to try to get your raw images to look closer to the JPEG previews you see on your camera's LCD when you import them. Uh, I like to use the camera standard for my Nikon um, as opposed to the Adobe standard, which is the default setting. Down here at the bottom, you'll see two buttons. The reset button will reset your uh, image to the default camera raw settings. And you can also use Control Shift R um, as a shortcut. And the previous button is very interesting. After you make adjustments to an image, you can select another image and then hit the previous button and it will copy and paste the exact same adjustments to that second image. So that was a brief overview of the various adjustment tools you have to work with in Lightroom. In upcoming tutorials, I'll show you in detail how to use each of them to develop and enhance your photos. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get all my Lightroom tutorials, and I'd appreciate it if you would also hit the like button as well. And feel free, if you have any questions or comments, to leave one below. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials as we work our way through the Lightroom workflow, and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of them. I also want to give you a copy of my free guide to Digital Photography Basics to help you improve your photography skills and understand your how to use your camera's manual settings. You can get it for free at my website, www.valeriegetch.com forward slash digital hyphen photography hyphen basics. Now go out with your camera and have fun and I'll see you back here soon.